The first time I met Roselle, she walked into the office, came right over to me, and gave me a big kiss. Hey, you. And that was the beginning of our relationship. Roselle was born on March 12, 1998. At eight weeks of age, she was delivered to her puppy raisers in Santa Barbara. In mid-1999, she came back to Guide Dogs for the Blind for her formal guide dog training, where she learned how to guide, to walk me in a straight line, to turn left and right, to make sure that we walked safely wherever we went. What makes Roselle special is how well she focused in all of her guiding efforts. Roselle knew how to be part of a team. She knew her job, she knew how to do it well, and she knew how to demand that I did my job as well. She loves to be part of the team. And of course, the ultimate test was what happened to us on 9-11, 2001. Incredible story. Michael Hinkson has been blind since birth. Michael was on the 78th floor of the World Trade Center, the one building, the North Tower. He was guided out by his guide dog, Roselle. Roselle is a fun-loving dog. I described her many times as a pixie. She would just play when she could, work when she had to. She really knows how to balance work and play. Today, it's, it is Roselle's day, and although we normally don't have announcements about retiring guides, Roselle clearly did something that no other guide dog has ever done, and hopefully, frankly, no other guide dog will do again. So on behalf of both of us, thank you all for your support, and Roselle, thank you very much.